Friday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. During the Babylonian captivity, the exiles prayed, Justice is with the Lord our God, and we today are flushed with shame, we men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets and with our ancestors have sinned in the Lord's sight and disobeyed him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord our God, nor followed the precepts which the Lord set before us. From the time the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God, and only too ready to disregard his voice. And the evils and the curse that the Lord enjoined upon Moses his servant at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the land flowing with milk and honey cling to us even today. For we did not heed the voice of the Lord our God and all the words of the prophets whom he sent us, but each one of us went off after the devices of his own wicked heart, served of a gods, and did evil in the sight of the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The response is, For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O Lord, how long? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading comes from Baruch 1, 15-21. Baruch was known to be the secretary of Jeremiah the prophet, and it's not really clear whether the book that's attributed to him was written by the actual secretary. All that we have is the Greek version. We don't have the original Hebrew version. And it seems to be a collection of various poems that have been put together. In today's case, it's a penitential poem which asks forgiveness for the fact that the people of Israel, in spite of the fact that they were led to a land flowing with milk and honey, protected by the Lord in the desert, nevertheless, they went after the wrong gods, and therefore they were punished. Even though God sent them prophets, they wouldn't listen to the voice of the prophets. So they realized that they deserve any punishment that they might receive. The Gospel is from Luke 10, 13-16. In this case, we hear a condemnation of Chorazim and Bethsaida. These are towns that are in Galilee, where Jesus spoke and where he performed miracles, and yet the people weren't ready to repent. The irony is that the people of Tyre and Sidon, which are two pagan cities, did repent. 
that the pagans were readier to accept the word of God through Jesus than the Jews. Even though Jesus was the Messiah whom God had sent to the Jewish people, they wouldn't listen to him. And therefore they would be punished for the fact that they refused the messenger to whom God had sent, which was God's very word. Again, we have to be careful when we read these passages and not be so ready to condemn Chorazin and Bethsaida as ourselves. How have we been graced by God? And how have we overlooked those moments of grace? How many times every day do we see small miracles in our life? And we hold out hope just for that one big miracle to win the lottery, to get that big job we always wanted, instead of recognizing that we're already blessed, that we've already received favors from the Lord, and being filled with gratitude. And may God bless us.